Well, everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the iPad 11th generation and talk about some of the specs, some of the features, some of the release dates of what we could be seeing within the iPad 11. Now, number one, this is probably going to be a pretty decent internal upgrade coming from the iPad 10th generation. What we've seen is that, first of all, the iPad 10 came out in 2022. There's a pretty high likelihood the iPad 11 is probably going to have some sort of the same type of feature set, at least from the exterior as the iPad 10. I really don't want to say it's going to have a iPhone, like I don't think it's going to have the, you know, ProMotion display on it yet. It's still going to have a 60Hz display, but it is going to have some benefits and improvements coming from the iPad 10. Number one, the iPad 10 had an A14 chip inside of it, which is basically the same type of chipset as the iPhone 12. From what people are kind of rumoring, this next generation of iPhone could have maybe an Apple A16 chip inside. So the iPad 10 generation had the A14, maybe the iPad 11 could have something like the A16 chip. The A17 chip seems too overpowerful in my opinion. And if Apple wants to keep these generation of chipsets alive for a while, I think they probably will go with something like the A16. Some other people have recommended that too. It seems like the A16 is probably going to be the better way to go. On top of that, the amount of RAM, I want to say, and I could be wrong about this, I want to say it's probably going to have six to eight gigabytes of RAM. I think there were, I mean, there were a couple of iPhones like the iPhone 14 that basically did have that, you know, six gigabyte of RAM option. So it's not out of the question. I could see it having about six. If they put eight in it, I would be surprised because that would put it at the same amount of RAM as the iPhone 15, like 16 Pros. And I don't think Apple's going to do that. So I think there's a very high likelihood they're probably just going to throw in six gigabytes of RAM and call it a day because they're probably also going to refresh the iPad mini at some point. They're probably going to give that one eight and give the iPad 11 generation probably six. On top of that, some other big notable things here too. The body, like I said, is going to stay the same. They're probably going to maintain that USB Type-C port. I do think they're probably going to maintain Apple Pencil 1 and the Apple Pencil USB-C on this iPad as well. But if they were smart, they would put Apple Pencil 2 on it because then they could upsell Apple Pencil 2. Those are more expensive and they could have it support Apple Pencil 2 or Apple Pencil USB-C at that point. And that would make a lot more sense for me to recommend. There's still not going to be any touch it. There's still not going to be any Face ID on this iPad. It's still going to be Touch ID. It's still going to be supported on, I think, backwards compatibility to all those iPad 10, you know, keyboards and accessories as well, which is going to be really cool. But beyond that, there's not really anything else really going on here, I, from what I can see, that's going to be super crazy compared to the iPad 10. I think the iPad 10 is still going to hold up well. It's just the iPad 11 is going to be a, be, like, be a more powerful iPad. The release date of this iPad is probably going to be uh, probably announced in October. So there could be a big announcement coming out in October, maybe mid-October. And then at that point, guess what? It's probably going to be on sale hopefully before November, depending on when the October event is, maybe a week after, then maybe two weeks after the you know October event, then we'll actually be able to have the iPads in our hands. So there's a lot of really cool stuff here. I can't wait for this iPad to come out. And that's pretty much how this iPad is going to you know look like when it's going to be coming out. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.